हेलो हाय आदाब और सशिकाल एक बार फिर से आ गया हूँ मैं आप लोगों के बीच आपका हमराज आर जय विनव नाइन्टी पॉइंट फोर मेगा हर्ट्स कम्युनिटी रेडियो न्यान वाणी यानी कि ज्ञान की वाणी पर आज लेकर आया हूँ रेडियो डिपार्टमेंट लेकिन इसको बहुत डिटेल में कर रहे हैं हम लोग जिस शख्सियत के साथ कर रहे हैं वो है रामोराव आदि इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी से यानी कि आर से उनके बारे में मैं आपको परिचय दूंगा फिर उसके बाद हम सर से करेंगे कुछ सवाल उनका नाम है विदाते अमर सिंह विदाते अमर सिंह इज वर्किंग एज अ प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग एट रामोराव आदि इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी डी वाई पाटिल डीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी ही हेज ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस ईयर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑलमोस्ट एट्टी प्लस नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल रिसर्च पेपर्स पब्लिश एट इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेज एंड रेफर्ड जर्नल्स हिज एरियाज ऑफ रिसर्च आर प्रोटोकॉल स्टैक्स कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग एंड सिक्योरिटी वी ए एन ई टी वी एन एट आई ओ टी एंड हेल्थ केयर एप्लीकेशन विद द असिस्टेंस ऑफ ए आई एम एल एंड डेटा साइंस ही इज अ पी जी गाइड एंड पी एच डी गाइड एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई एंड डी वाई पाटिल डीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी हिज स्पेशल इंटरेस्ट इज इन मास एजुकेशन एंड डिजाइनिंग कंटेंट दैट इज यूजफुल फॉर द मासस टू मेक देम एम्प्लॉयबल इज अ मेम्बर ऑफ प्रोफेशनल बॉडीज लाइक आई ट्रिपल ई सी एस आई एंड आई एस टी ई ही कैन बी कॉन्टेक्ट एट अमर डॉट विधाते एट आर ए आई टी डॉट ए सी डॉट इन स्पेशली ये मैंने इसलिए बोला है कि आप लोग उनसे कॉन्टेक्ट जब करना चाहे तो कर सकते हैं सर कैसे हैं वेरी वॉम वेलकम करता हूँ आपका और गुड आफ्टरनून सर नो योर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉब थैंक यू सो मच गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरी वन जी सर सिलसिले को आगे बढ़ाता हूँ सबसे पहला जो सवाल है वो आपसे पूछता हूँ प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट योर डिपार्टमेंट हेलो एवरीवन सो यू नो आई वी बिलोंग टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग विच इज वन ऑफ द वेरी फर्स्ट डिपार्टमेंट एस्टेब्लिश एट आर यू नो वे बैक इन नाइनटीन एटी थ्री एट यू नो यू नो इट इज अ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग हाउ वी हैव five different courses under uh, this this umbrella hmm. we are we are giving btech in four different courses btech in computer engineering with major in bio, data sciences and blockchain and then we are offering btech in computer science and engineering with ai ml specializations as well as cyber security we also offer btech in ai and data science wow of course and of course after that you know we are offering btech in computer science and business systems which is a brain child of tcs you know it's a, it's a, uh, a course offered by tcs and we have been getting lot of support from tata consultancy services for this uh, program and along with that we are offering mtech course which is a post graduate course in computer engineering oh, great. along with phd that is a research course in computer engineering so overall you know we are we are representing the the yeah. the biggest department as far as um, uh, okay. rit uh, family is concerned and one of the very first department established in 1983 with lot of establishments and lot of uh, you know uh, achievements within the department and thank especially you. in lot of ways you are the pioneer one <laughs> <laughs> the department is a pioneer one. thank you thank you so much okay sir uh, what are some of the key research areas or specializations within your department institute yeah great so this is something you know uh, uh, and one of the excellent question i would say uh, mr abhinav ji yes sir you know like you know uh, the key areas are uh, some of the uh, uh, specializations and uh, some of the achievements of every department as far as computer engineering department is concerned we are proud to say we have done a lot of work you know as far as uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning domain is concerned deep learning domain is concerned data science you know we we are we are like you know uh, uh, research work as well as lot of specialized labs available uh, you know uh, as far as the data science uh, course is concerned along with that uh, hpc is our forte cyber security ar we are we are coming up cloud computing and uh, of course uh, advanced network and uh, security so wow. you know so many research domains uh, uh, computer engineering uh, department is uh, allowing and a lot of researchers are there uh, a lot of researchers going on phd course and uh, mtech courses are concerned oh, thank you great wonderful nicely explained sir uh, can you highlight any unique facilities or resources that are available to students and researchers in your department great thank you abhinav ji um, you know uh, i would i would uh, say uh, uh, there are many unique facilities at hmm. the department uh state of the art laboratories because i have seen uh, uh, that the transition or the change uh, within the curriculum 
we were offering a uh, core computer engineering and then as per the industry requirement because we understand industry requirement uh, better because the industry institute connect is very strong hmm. so that way we use we uh, make our uh, uh, you know syllabus our contents upgrade to the industry standards and under that you know lot of uh, initiatives we have taken in last couple of years and especially uh, laboratories if you see our laboratories state of the art laboratories into mm. the specialized domain we we call them as a buzzwords uh, like you know ai ml ai dl data sciences cyber security ar vr mm. all these technologies all these specialized labs are available of course along with that uh, you know the next challenge was to uh, you know train the faculties and bring them to that level so Certainly. we have we have trained those faculties and uh, we have <coughs> uh, you know made those faculties certified so that uh, you know uh, they should understand the technologies better they should they should you know uh, able to train uh, the next generation that that are our students better so that way you know lot of initiatives uh, a department has already taken along with that you know our alumni is our forte you know the excellent connect i would say 16000 plus alumni are there you know oh, wow. across and they are connected and the best part is you know they are helping a lot uh, as far as the educational excellence part is concerned similarly you know strong industry connect which i always proudly say you know because this is because of our alumni connect hmm. and uh, industry uh, uh, where where we we talk to them and the way we get uh, immense support from them that is something very different global certifications is one of the one of the additional uh, highlight or unique facility i would say for the student where wow. my students when they are in institute you know they hmm. they are they are going through their global certifications uh, within for in, into domain of cyber security and ai ml and there are so many and uh, this thing even data sciences also so that what will happen you know when the recruiters are coming hmm. the students are ready with their uh, global certifications so that will be an added value uh, for them to uh, get shortlisted or uh, get recruited you know more than or um, um, you know different from the other colleges right so that is one of the uh, unique facility oh great uh, we 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 give them a lot of internships also every summer and winter you know a lot of internships uh, used to happen and student participate there the softwares which are required as far as the industry expectations are concerned hmm. fortunately uh, management is uh, uh, very supportive and uh, with the help of our director and principal uh, office you know fortunately every software you know what industry is expecting mostly those softwares are available within the department so student get uh, you know exposure to work with those latest softwares hmm. and that will be an added advantage to get them or make them more employable definitely right? and actually right. they are be, uh, so that yeah, way. i mean and to bring them industry invented. bring them industry closer uh, we have certain things like you know board of studies and then uh, you know so who used to uh, design the content hmm. the curriculum right curriculum 90% our board of studies members are from industries oh, from yes, reputed wonderful. industries who are our employers so we could able to get the the feedback directly from them yeah the, we want this we want that and we used to uh, implement within the syllabus syllabus okay so great. that becomes industry ready uh there was a nice answer a uh, wonderful actually uh, with the facilities uh, in the rit sir okay my next question is that what are some of the extra curricular activities or student organizations that are associated with your department yeah. i mean different so, uh, organizations we we are uh, a students driven organization so mm -hmm. if you ask me about the department we have uh, a strong uh, connect of uh, csi computer society of india and students are doing really good under csi so we have a students uh, csi students active chapter so uh, you take any activity within the department you take uh, weekend programs you take uh, summer or winter internship programs right any of the initiatives any of the workshops any of the hands on workshops there are uh, this 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 particular chapter csi chapter used to take a lead and always uh, you know execute that with the uh, for the students uh, you know we uh, for the juniors so that okay. they should be become equally uh, uh, ready 
as far as the industry requirements are concerned. Extra curricular activities, uh, you know, we have so many other consortiums or other chapters like we have NSS chapter, social wing. So, they are doing lot of things as far as, you know, extra curricular activities are concerned. And as far as R8 is concerned, we have uh, this tradition since its inception mm. that we look forward or we look students, um, you know, like a 360 degree, uh, we want their development, um, you know, holistic development mm -hmm. into 360 degree all the round, right. And we have, been since, yeah, we have been following since long time, okay. So, and uh, uh, that way uh, the students are uh, really, really successful uh, then and uh, now also. Oh, great. Uh, great. And also please tell me about the sir, PCR department because from there, OMKA, PCR, yeah, yeah, they are especially in fact, there. Uh, uh, yes, I wanted to. Uh, us now this time. Thank uh, you so much. <laughs> you know, this, this, uh, I, I, you know, uh, for these, these uh, talented, uh, these yeah, talented boys and girls, this, <laughs> this, this uh, particular cell, you know, PCR, they are really doing wonders, you know, mm -hmm. wherever we require medias, right, you know, these people are they always come with the there. kit, especially. Everything, and the, and yes, the and they're, are they're always equipped, they're <laughs> always equipped always and equipped. always ready, so... That is one of the uh, excellent uh, cell I, I have seen. Mm. And we have seen their formation also, you know, the, the PCR has formed because there was there was a need, you know, like, and that way they are doing good. Oh, yes, definitely. The tradition. Uh, shastra or, astro, everything. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Question and the next question is that what message you would like to give to IT aspirants joining engineering? The the question itself uh, gives uh, a lot of answers. Mm. Joining engineering is a very special word because engineering yes. is completely based on fundamentals. So yes, yes, I would advise them to be fundamental, right, and uh, uh, be brave, be be confident because here you are representing your or institute and oh, great. when you when you when you go for uh, getting the jobs right you know that time uh, your 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 values are always counted in terms of skill sets skill set so yes. be sure about your skill sets so i would i would especially from the computer engineering department i would like to tell three c's you know like that is the confidence, confidence coding, coding and coding. then uh, communication, communication which is oh, very very important oh, okay Keep it up. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, mujhe nahi, especially. Uh, one of my personal questions to you is that uh, with the emergence of AI artificial intelligence, what do you think about the pros and cons of that, especially in the area of engineering, IT and in the, uh, you know, area of the jobs? I mean, Great. there is there any job reduction or something like that? It's, it's a wonderful question because, uh, because of uh, inception of AI and advancement of AI, you know, lot of uh, challenges are coming but rather i would say in a in a in a um, 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 other way around hmm. you know ai is helping to solve lot of uh, societal needs oh, right yes, yes. and in fact uh, it the the need of employment is increasing right hmm. you know it is helping to get the right people it was like you know previously it was not like that but hmm. because of ai because of you know machine learning lot of automation is coming so that has given a small threat to the industry that the 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 the, the job work work uh, this thing uh, will will reduce but that is not the thing mm. you know we they require little uh, different skilled people into that particular domain which is which is really coming up now yes definitely. and i think that will increase the employment like anything Oh, sure. wow. Wonderful. Nicely said, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Thanks a lot.